Hello photography fans and welcome back to another lens vid review. Today we're looking at a couple of video tripods by Manfrotto, the 635 and the 645. Let's see what they can do. Back in mid 2020, we received a pair of new video tripods and video heads from Manfrotto. This review will cover the two sets of legs and in an upcoming video, we're going to dive deep into the heads and how they perform. The two sets of legs that we received are the Manfrotto 635 and 645 Fast and they represent a new generation of tripods that are designed to be simpler and quicker to operate and this is exactly what we will be testing in this review. We have tested many tripods here on LensVid, but this is the first video-centric tripod review that we're publishing. For years, we found ourselves using tripod legs designed primarily for stills, both for photo and video work. And for the shoots that we were doing, they performed fairly well. However, as we started using larger setups and rigs in the studio, it became clear that a more professional and more stable set of legs is important, and this is one of the things that we will cover in this review. We will also compare both the 635 and 645 to our trusty Manfrotto 028B studio tripod, which is one of the company's most successful stills tripod that we reviewed a few years back, and look at some advantages and disadvantages of these new video tripods compared to the classic. Before we share our experience of using the 635 and 645 fast tripods, here's a quick rundown of the main features of both of these new tripods. The 635 fast is the more unique of the two tripods. It has a single tube design with three carbon fiber leg sections and it uses a patent pending twist lock mechanism. Manfrotto did not include a bubble level on this tripod but there are two useful EasyLink connections for arms and accessories as well as a weight hanger, although you will need to bring your own hook or wire to hang a sandbag or some other type of weight. The tripod has rubber feet for working on even ground as well as dual spikes when you remove the rubber pads. The 635 doesn't come with a spreader, but you can purchase the same Manfrotto 2-in-1 tripod spreader that comes with the 645 for the lower or mid part of the legs. The legs have a maximum payload of 20 kilos or 44 pounds and they weigh in at just over 3.5 kilos. The tripod supports a 75 mm half ball. For travel, it comes with a velcro strap that you wrap around the legs to carry around. We're not big fans of this solution, but it is better than the legs opening up all the time. Our unit didn't come with a carrying case, which is a bit strange, although Manfrotto does sell a kit with a head that comes with a dedicated carrying case. The tripod has markings for 20, 50, and 70 degree angles with locks for each leg, which you either pull out or push in to set. You can see the different heights that each setting will give you. The third leg section is pretty thin and using it in 50 and not to mention 70 degree mode takes away from the stability of the tripod. The 645 has a more traditional video tripod design with sturdy double tube legs similar to those of many other video tripods. It has vertical leg locking technology which is much more practical to use than the twist locks of the 635 in our opinion because the mechanism is significantly easier to close down. We got the carbon fiber version but there's also a less expensive aluminum variant. The legs have a maximum payload of 25 kilos or 55 pounds and they weigh in at just over 3.8 kilos. The 645 uses a 100 mm half ball to attach the head. For travel it comes with plastic locking parts which are way more practical than the velcro strap of the 635 fast tripod. It also didn't come with a carrying case, has no bubble level and unlike the 635 has no easy link connections which is maybe the only real disadvantage it has compared to the 635 fast tripod. The 645 also has 20, 50 and 70 degree angles with locks but they're more convenient to use. Here's a demonstration of the different heights that each setting will give you.
The 645 comes with a spreader that can be connected to the lowest part of the legs or as a mid-level spreader just short of 1 meter high with the legs fully extended. The spreader can be adjusted to any width and has numbered markings and twist knobs for securing the desired angle. In the past several months we've been using both tripods extensively in our studio with two Manfrotto heads for lens vid as well as for commercial work. Both of these have had no issues with our normal mirrorless setups and even with some heavier rigs we haven't encountered any problems. We've used them a lot for talking head style shoots including all of our recent lens vid videos as well as some product and food videos without any problems. Setup time for the 645 was indeed very fast. With the 635 we sometimes struggle a bit with the direction of the leg lock twist mechanism. You can get used to it, but we really prefer the simpler 645 mechanism. Two other points that we wanted to mention briefly. First, we really enjoyed using the legs with the iFootage C-Stars Q1 quick release system for heads, sliders and jibs, and they have made our lives so much easier. Manfrotto should certainly take a close look at this concept. We also thought worth mentioning the way we have been storing these tripods when not in use in our new studio right on the wall. We might do a separate video on our studio storage solutions later on. We would like to make it clear that our use case might be different than that of most professional video photographers. Although we do shoot people and interviews quite often, we shoot a lot more commercial food and products, as well as lots of B-rolls for cameras, lenses, and accessories for lens vid. This means that we need to keep playing with the angle and height of our camera, working with tables at different heights and various shooting angles. While video tripods like the 635 and 645 Fast are quick to deploy and fold to their predetermined height, they have no mechanism that allows them to quickly and accurately change height like the crank on the 028B does. Although we would probably not put a fully rigged Alexa on our 028B with the center column up, when using it with mirrorless cameras it is plenty strong and much faster and easier to change height with precision. For this reason alone, we would recommend this one for food and product video work any day over a dedicated video tripod. One important disadvantage of the 028B is that it can't go very low to the ground. Unlike both the 635 and 645 fast tripods, which can be set at a very low height close to the ground, the 028B has a set minimum height of 77 centimeters due to its crank mechanism with the center column. There's no way around this. If you need to go low, this isn't the right tripod for you. The second disadvantage of the 028B is that you can't use a half ball head with it. We're mostly fine with that, there are plenty of good professional flat base heads to go around. However, it also means that there is no simple way to level the head. Even in our studio with its wooden floors, things are not 100% level, so we had to find a solution. Luckily, there's a pretty inexpensive one in the form of a leveling base that you can put between your tripod and head, and you can use it to level your rig. This is not as simple or convenient as a half ball, and we would not use it with a very heavy rig, but it is better than no leveling at all. Decades after it was introduced, it would be fantastic to see Manfrotto come up with a 028B update with some of the recent innovations from the fast line, including the vertical levers of the 645 and the easy link connections of the 635, as well as possibly a new crank system that is easily removable and allows the user to go lower and also use half ball heads for video. With the 635 and 645 fast tripods, Manfrotto tried to create quick and simple to deploy video legs that are easy to carry, light and robust enough to take most practical loads. Very much like the highly acclaimed Sackler Flowtech but at a fraction of the cost. Based on our experience with these tripods, here's the conclusion. The 645 Fast is a great set of legs that we can highly recommend. It is indeed light, strong, simple and quick to deploy and fold, but also not difficult to carry around. It is plenty stable and the only two things that we would add to it are height markings on the legs and the useful easy link arm attachment mechanism which you can find on the 635 Fast legs. When it comes to the 635 Fast, this is a very different type of animal and at least in our experience it feels a little less mature than the 645. It might require more tweaking by Manfrotto's capable engineers, especially when it comes to the lock-in mechanism. As for pricing, the Manfrotto 635 Fast Carbon Fiber currently sells for $750 and the Manfrotto 645 Fast Carbon Fiber version sells for $950 
or 700 for the aluminum version. You can also buy a kit with a new 635 legs Manfrotto 504X head and a carrying case for $1110. Interestingly, B&H sells a 645 kit with a 504X head and a carrying case for just under $1,000, which is a steal. So that is it for our look at the 635 and the 645 fast video tripods by Manfrotto. To check out the full review, go to our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Hello photography fans and welcome back to another... Are you sure this is connected to something? Maybe.